can wait. <laughs> <laughs> I have that V again. It's the same day as last video. That's how I roll. Easier. So today we're going to talk about Barcelona, which is where we went straight from Paris. I'm going to change how I'm holding my phone because I'm like vibrating. There we go. It's a little better. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I have a tripod for it. I just don't you carry it around okay. with me. This works. One day. One day. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we can, like the last video, start with how we almost didn't make it there. <laughs> yeah, I had some uh, friends who actually missed their plane to Paris, so we didn't do as bad as them. All right. Yeah. But we realized that we bought our ticket really early in the morning in order to get to Barcelona. Like, really early. And then, We had to get up at, like, what, 3, 4 a.m.? Yeah, it was before the metro opened, so we were like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. What are we going to do? Because we navigated Paris by, I would Google Maps it beforehand and then yeah. take a bunch of screenshots because we didn't have data. Mm. And I would just use the metro directions, and I had done that the night before. And then that morning, I looked it up, and I was like, "The metro's not open, open yet." So we were like freaking out, and then we ended up not at Charles de Gaulle. We ended up at some other airport, is where we were leaving from. And so we were like, "How far is that?" And it ended up being like an hour. And yeah. Some. And I was like, "Oh." But we didn't know like was there a How bus? Was there? there a train? So we just kind of we panicked for a minute, yeah, walked, walked outside. outside and got super super lucky because that's when this taxi guy yeah he just saw us standing up. beside the street looking scared and confused and he was like do you need a ride and we were like can you take us to this airport like, <laughs> yes and then we were like and he told us how much and we were like you know what at this point it wasn't too bad it was like 30 euro it was well like 130 euros. it came up to like a hundred something dollars yeah but it didn't it wasn't like something euros it wasn't terrible but it was it Obviously, it was more than, like, the At the time, I was like, I don't care. I don't want to get stuck in Barcelona. Or in Paris. <laughs> or in Paris. Get to We're getting to Barcelona. Barcelona was super, like, easy in comparison, I felt like. But, or to that. Because we were like, oh, it, there's one airport. Yeah, everything was kind of condensed yeah. for the most part. So, at this part. point, because Stephen couldn't help us. Because his phone broke while we were in Paris. Yeah, he had data, but his phone, phone didn't work. <laughs> it was just a series of bad luck. Cause, like, just as bad. Yeah. But it's okay, because yeah. we made it. We did. We got to the airport with a little bit of time to spare. Didn't die. Got on the plane. <laughs> exhaled. We got, like, good seats on that plane. Weren't we sitting next to each other? I think and then, so. Because, and we were, like, right there. And then we got we got to Barcelona, and it was really, we sh only time I think we should have gone to Barcelona was trying to find the bus that would take us, because there was an A and a B. And they're like, well, where are you going? We were like, into town. In the, to Barcelona. <laughs> and they were like, this bus, get in line. Pay for a thing. We pay for a thing. Yeah. And it took us, and it dropped us off in the center of the square where everything is, all the expensive yeah, shopping. Yeah, that's right. Near the Las Ramblas. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's what it's named, right? Las Ramblas. Sure. That's the, the I was even the worse at Spanish district. than at French, so I was no she, use. She was no help. I, was I, I would like, try to read words off of the map, and Abby would be like, no. <laughs> no. That's she's not. Trying, she's pronounces Spanish words in French accent. Yeah, because I could do the French words with the correct pronunciations, more or less. Mm. And, like, feel pretty so decent. Like, and then I've Spanish, been... I was like, I can't roll my R's. I, <laughs> I don't know how these syllables are supposed to sound together. Yeah, if they, they're from, you know, Spain, we were in Spain. It's not like... Mexico or like any kind of other Spanish mm -hmm. that we may have heard before. Yeah, that we'd be more different. used to. But it was still, it was still good. We got mm -hmm. off there. I was like, we go this way because yeah. <laughs> I had a map and like surprisingly, I did really, really yeah, well. Yeah, I navigated Paris. Abby navigated Barcelona. All of Barcelona. It was super easy. It's like the map they gave us had like the street yeah, corner. We had a very and... accessible map. Like yeah, so it was like this is where we go. We get on the metro. We walk up the corner. We get to our hostel, mm -hmm. and it was like. Park yeah, it was like a skate park themed hostel. It was adorable. The like seats and stuff look like skate mm -hmm. ramps. It was kind of cute. So we got into our bunks and I was like, well, we're both on a top bunk. So, <laughs> and we put our stuff away and we were like, okay, do you want to take a nap? And I think we napped because what else? Yeah. It was a beautiful day the next morning, but mm -hmm. we got up at noon. Yeah. See, the thing is with trying to cram a bunch of countries into like short amount of time it was about a week and a day yeah we had like a week with two countries so barcelona was beautiful and i'm glad we went but we were so tired yeah. and so low budget at that at point. point at this point after like because in paris another mishap happened where she lost a metro ticket. oh yeah the one time they checked our tickets after we got off i had somehow like left mine on a train 
and I had to pay a fine of like 50 euro. So we had that, which and was then we had to pay such a hard experience to get to the airport. And so it was like at this point we were just like, you know what? I'm tired. We need to just get <laughs> to the. We should get to the hostel. We're just gonna. We found this really cute cafe right across mm-hmm. the street. Oh yeah, we went there a lot. <laughs> it was like she was like two euros, and mm-hmm. we got like a coffee and a sandwich. And yeah. It was, like, it was like, are you sure? Because, like, was, Paris was expensive. It was Are cheap. Sure? It was little. It had a couple of outside tables we would sit at and Wi-Fi so we'd look up where we were going. Yep. And our hostel was, like, practically around the corner from, um, I just forgot what it was called. The big church. The Sagrada Familia. Yeah. I was, I was like, like, what is I she knew, talking about? I knew the name of it, like, yesterday when I was trying to think of what to do for these well, videos. And it's still under construction, I think, even now. Like, it's mm-hmm. still There's still out. stuff they were doing, so, it, so lots like, of cranes in the background. Cool. All of my pictures have a crane in it. Yeah. It was but, still cool. We didn't go inside because money and crowds, but... Yeah, there was a crowd. I was, every time at all, all times. times. I was like, okay. I mean, and it was nice to see, like, Gaudi's architecture mm-hmm. and whatnot. And it was beautiful. We didn't actually make it up to, like, the northern part of the, the city, up, up the top. Yeah, we'd um, mostly just stay the around there. there and the little um, shops. And then, like, around the corner each. from that was a McDonald's. Oh, we ate at the McDonald's we ate at the mall- so many times. Like, four times. People probably. were like, where did you eat in Barcelona? We're like, McDonald's, McDonald's. Because it was so cheap. It was well, ridiculous. we tried to, like, be experimental and, like, find some but then it was, like, food at one point, but we couldn't food. find anything. Yeah. Well, they were all fair. like these little restaurants that had the exact same menu at all of them. Yeah, and then the ones that were like authentic, it was mm-hmm. like open at weird times when we didn't want to be there, and then when we also like were like we're not gonna spend all this money to probably do like the tapas that they do. Mm-hmm. We're like we are like starving. So we got ice get... cream at some point. That was fun. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> we then we spent a day at the beach after again sleeping in, mm-hmm. and we got drinks at this little, little local shop. We just walked down the beach, and we picked a spot, and we sat down, and she didn't buy a ta- an opener yeah. for her view. She's like, Abby, I can't Abby this. was smart and got a can yeah. of, like, a cider, and I was like, I want to get, like, an actual beer, and I got one that was not a twist top, mm-hmm. not a can, um, so I had to, like, leave, like left Abby on the beach and walked up and down where they've got all the, like, souvenirs on blankets, and <laughs> found a bottle opener keychain. <laughs> And it works. Souvenir. Souvenir. I've yeah. still got it in my purse. I think the keychain part broke, but I've still got it. That's helpful. As long as that's, you know. I can fix it. I have the tools to fix it. I'm just lazy. Yeah, but we sat there, and then there's, like, a ton of people trying to sell you, like, the round blankets and towels, like, things to Or they'd on. come up to you with, like, drinks, and like they'd be like, buy you. this. And yeah. we're like, no, thank you. Buy this drink, this mixed drink. They, like, come up to you and, Oof, like, let me you adjust. Want, you want go. a drink? And I was like, no. My hand's tired. Yeah. But it would they, those things. The blankets were nice. I wanted one. Mm-hmm. But I also didn't have any room in my backpack, and I had spent so much money, I was like, no. Yeah, they were pretty, and they had really cool designs. It, it was, was just... Like ta- they were like tapestries, and it was... Mm-hmm. They were nice. It's just I didn't have 20 euros to, like, just be like, here. Yeah. For a piece of cloth. You know, like, I mean, it was nice. But, I mean, they were beautiful colors. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get one. Um, we sat there, and... We drank our drink, and then I think we... We walked around a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I've got a couple clips. We found we saw some, like, really cool sand sculptures. We took a tour Oops. for free. Yeah. Well, it's the Sandman walking tour, which, like, they do great tours around cities. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend it. I did a... Let me tell you. <laughs> They're like, you can tip if you want. And we were like... Right. Well, we got really lucky, because uh, that one was apparently that. one you had to reserve. Yeah. Because remember we got there, and they were like, do you have reservations? And we were like, no. what? <laughs> And, uh, but they were like, alright, some people didn't show up, you guys can come, and we are like, yes. yes. Um, so he, he did, really like, bad. architecture, and... The, yeah, the, some... um, like, Christopher Columbus, that, and then the gothic, all the gothic architecture, mm-hmm. and then through to where, um, he pointed us up towards, like, the Sangrada Familia, and then the, the Ark. Which mm-hmm. every famous city has an arc. Yeah. Somewhere. Oh yeah, we walked through and there were like street performers and stuff. Oh yeah, we watched them for a while. With their little, I have a picture of the arc mm-hmm. and I have like a couple clips, or like a clip of some of the architecture we saw. So I'll put that in there too. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it. We were there this time last year. Yeah. Like literally. Probably actually. Right like, now. Reading, right now. Going this year. to Reading. We were probably actually <laughs> going right back home. Yeah. Home. Huh. Home. It was home. It's my, it's oh, my I miss home, it. So. <laughs> yeah. That 
that was fine. Getting back there was fine. We had a layover in Madrid, but other than that, mm-hmm. getting back to riding was easy. Because yeah. then we knew, well, we kind of messed up a little with how to get from what, because we wanted to get a ta- like, like taxi guy that we knew. Mm-hmm. He didn't show up, and then we took a bus. We went into, like, London, and then we, oh, took, yeah. then we took the the underground to the train that we needed. So we probably spent, you know, five or ten pounds more than we could have otherwise, but at that but point, we made we it. Care. We got back, and we were like, I'm going across the street to the co-op, and I'm buying donuts, and I'm going to bed. Basically. Yeah, I forgot about that. We were supposed to have had a taxi scheduled to come pick us up, and our house mom never called him. Yeah. <laughs> so we just waited there for an hour, and then we were like, all right, we're getting a bus. We tried, I know, but it's okay. Yeah. At that point. Uh, compared to our other getting from place to place, that was the easiest one. I was just happy to be back in England. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was worth it. We were just really tired at that point. I highly recommend Barcelona. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't, like, pay for a lot of touristy things, there's a lot of stuff you can find just by walking around, mm-hmm. as we did, or taking a train to the beach. Yep. That's all for now. Bye. Bye.